Well, I am speechless. Uh, it took me till my third trip to Africa to get my first warthog. Um, it's not the biggest one. Dakota estimated him to be about seven or eight inches, um, which of course isn't huge, but he is a mature one. And we figured it with it being this late in the hunt, um, it would probably be a good idea just to take him. So I'm very happy with this. This is a great warthog. Um, to make matters more interesting, after this guy left, after he was uh, shot and ran away, wildebeest came in. And within 10 minutes, we shot a wildebeest as well. So the guys are actually out right now uh, trying to find the wildebeest. It was a good shot, good 30-yard shot. This shot was uh, about 15 yards. Uh, got a good heart shot on him. <clears throat> he didn't go too far, about 100 yards from the blind. Uh, a lot of guys think are really against blind hunting over water holes. Uh, I can't see why. It is a legal and very viable way to hunt here in Africa. Um, it, it's not a gimme. People think you're shooting fish in a barrel. But it took us till day four to actually get a shooter in front of us. You may not see a shooter species. Um, you may not see anything at all. So it, it's, it's a challenge. It really is. But I'm thankful. I want to thank TDK Safaris, uh, especially my guide Dakota, my PH, did a great job, hung in there with me. We've been sitting in the blind all week, roasting our tails off, and um, it finally paid off. I'm very happy. Nice. Well... I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Um, while we, we were taking our pictures of the warthog, the trackers found my blue wildebeest. So, you know, they always say that you never know what the bush will give you. Um, we had seen this guy several times before, could never get close to him. And uh, about 10 minutes after we shot the warthog, he came in with a bunch of his buddies and gave me a little bit of a quartering away shot at 30 yards. Um, fortunately, I was able to make the shot. It was a good shot. He only went eh, 150, 200 yards, something like that. Um, it looks like it's going to be SCI record book. He's really big. I am so thankful. I want to thank TDK Safaris, uh, especially uh, Dakota, my guide. He has been sitting with me in a hot blind all week, and uh, we saw basically almost nothing to shoot at. Lots of game, lots of animals here, um, but we didn't see the right ones. And about an hour, hour and a half before quitting time, we saw two of the right ones. So uh, very blessed with this. He'll look great on my wall. Well, you know, as I said in the video, Hunting out of a blind over a water hole with a bow, no easy task, contrary to popular belief. You could sit there all week, not see the species you're after. You could see the species, but not a shooter. Or you could see a shooter, but not get a shot at it. There could be animal in front of it, animal behind it, maybe it's facing you. No easy task. It is not like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, also... I don't know if you took notice, but in the video when I was in the blind, right after I shot the blue wildebeest, I actually called Dakota Dylan. I was so excited. So, sorry Dakota. Uh, also, when we were doing the recovery on the warthog, I paused for a second and you could hear a radio in the background. That was actually the trackers contacting Dakota to let him know that the blue wildebeest had been found. So, quite the day in the bush. Uh, two animals down within 10 or 15 minute period. It was absolutely a tremendous blessing. Well, good morning. It is day five. It is the last day of our hunt. Uh, my flight leaves tonight, but I can hunt until about noon. So we're trying to get it done on a baboon or a monkey. We've seen a bunch of baboon here. We were very blessed yesterday. We took a uh, warthog and a really good blue wildebeest. So hopefully we'll get one more on the ground yet before it's time to go back home. We've got about uh, four hours here. So let's see what happens.
You know, everything about the safari was awesome, um, but I have to say I think my favorite thing about it was just being able to spend time at the bush camp. It was the coolest bush camp I was ever at. The Lapa was beautiful, the Boma was cool, we had a fire going every night, 
The chalets and tents were comfortable and clean. Lisa and Wes McCarter really run a top-notch operation over there at TDK. I'd like to thank them for having me and for choosing me as their contest winner. Dakota and Kevin, great PHs, very knowledgeable, very patient with you. Uh, Jerry and Philemon with the Skinner and Tracker did an excellent job locating and taking care of my animals. Minette, excellent cook, best food I've ever had in Africa. Selena and Salamina did a great job um, keeping up with the laundry and keeping the place clean. Um, I'd also like to thank the Scamelios for allowing me to borrow their camera. I'm still in the Stone Age with my uh, mini DV, so they let me borrow their high def camera. Excellent job. Um, I'd like to also thank Rusty and Diane over at Extreme Hunting Products. I was having a little bit of trouble with my bow before I left. Uh, they changed the cables for me and the string in due time and uh, got everything rolling for me. So thank you so much. Check them out on the internet, Extreme Hunting Products. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And until next time, take care.